guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So y'all see what we're talking about today. Um, this is definitely not someone that I have spoken about here before, um, but this is definitely a story worth discussing and worth doing commentary on. So we're going to just go ahead and jump right into this thing. I'm going to uh, play a small little snippet of video. And then I'm going to come back with my actual blind commentary. I know about it, but I have not watched anything about it, nor have I spoken on it. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on into this thing. Popular YouTube mom, known for her strict parenting style, now under suspicion of child abuse. ABC's Zareen Shah is back with more on that. Zareen, good morning once again. Yeah, well, this is just a shocking story. And for the first time, we're hearing 911 responders and their horrifying descriptions of that child and the mom of that kid touting herself to millions as being a parent coach that others should emulate and my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because it's going to sound like I'm like a mean barbarian. This morning, a Utah mom influencer arrested facing six felony counts of aggravated child abuse. For the first time, we're hearing emergency responders as they see one of Ruby Frankie's children after he allegedly escaped through a window. Email does have duct tape around each ankle. He's not telling you why. Right. And so that there's sores around his wrists and ankles, he's becoming, or correction, the RP is becoming emotional regarding the child's health. I'm going to go ahead and have medical data on the phone. Arrest documents saying the child escaped to a neighbor's home. The 12 year old child described by that neighbor in a phone call to police as emaciated and malnourished with open wounds. Court documents also describing deep lacerations from being tied up with a rope. He's also saying that there's two of his sisters are back at the home as well. Police say they also found Frankie's 10-year-old daughter malnourished. Frankie is known for her strict parenting advice to millions of TikTok and YouTube followers. The mom of six previously received criticism online for some parenting tactics, seen in a now deleted YouTube video saying she has kept food from her kids. I'm not even going to let you eat breakfast until you get your chores done. Experts say Frankie's videos, even the deleted ones, could be used against her in court. If you're the prosecutor and the, the detectives, you may really be happy you have that because it could well corroborate some of these charges that the government is alleging. And four of Frankie's six kids are in child custody. The other two are adults. You know, it's unclear when her first court appearance will be, but likely all eyes will be on her when it happens. Janae. A really shocking and disturbing case, Zareen. Thank you for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thank you. Thank you for checking out my commentary channel. We offer commentary without callousness, cruelty, and with a little comedy. Okay, guys, you saw that video, and quite frankly, I'm shocked. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, my first impression was, huh, because of just looking at her. And, and that's probably a lot of people's impression. And that's probably why she was able to do what she did and get away with this. It's unfortunate in today's society, but a lot of things that we do, a lot of things that we deal with, um, we look at people and we get a preconceived notion about them and then they're able to do what they do. So uh, this is just a indication. You know, there's a lot of conversation here with the mommies that we do discuss on this channel. Um, and there's a lot of things going on, namely, especially my jazzy life. People are consistently um, talking about her and have preconceived notions about her based on videos from way back when. Um, and quite frankly, people will not let her move beyond what 
uh, mistakes she's made in the past. Now, is she making the same, same mistakes? I personally, I watch her, but I don't watch her enough to say if she is or is not. But most people would say that she's the same person she was years ago when those My Shabby Life videos depicted her um, behaviors. So that's number one, why she can't get past whatever. And number two, why this woman was able to do what she did. Now, to see her on her channel say that she would hold food one might think, oh, God, that's mean. But others may think she's just being strict because that's what they said, that she's known for her strict parenting style. However, um, clearly this has gone way beyond just being a strict mom and has gone to the point that they feel she uh, has abused her kids. Um, you saw the guy say that, or the, should I say the... Um, video said that people were emotional after seeing her kids based on uh what was going on so um i'm shocked but also i also wanted to talk about this for the simple fact that this is going to change the way YouTube mothers are judged. It's going to change the way CPS deals with these type of situations. It's going to change the way mothers like my Jazzy Life are judged. Quite frankly, people are going to be more aggressive. Um, we just recently saw what happened with the young lady, Angelic Soul. Um, all her kids were removed. There was a lot of things said there. I'm not quite sure what's true versus not, so I'm not going to speak on it. But with this situation here, um, it is sad. Um, they said four of her kids are in custody now. The thing about it is she's married. Nobody knows where this husband is or nobody has said what the deal is as far as... Um, as he's concerned, but I mean, whatever the case is, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's just really, it's interesting because I want to know where this husband is. He had to have known. Now she was on a show with another woman. Um, they talked, like they said to millions of people about parenting and things of that nature. And with that being the case, uh, if the lady that she was on a show with, who she had just recently shot an episode of their show in that very house. Now, she was arrested as well. Her uh, co-conspirator, which is the lady that she has this connections thing with. She's known for something called Eight Passengers. I'm not even familiar with what that is. And quite frankly, before this, I didn't even know who this woman was. But I wonder where her husband is. Honey, where, where, where you at? Because I know you know what was going on. So if the lady that she is on a show with went to jail, he sh surely should be implicated at least and definitely aggressively talk to about this. So um, I say all that just to say, honey, I can't wait to see. I'm definitely going to be watching and I am going to keep you guys updated. But this is sad and it's definitely going to change the way people look at YouTube mothers. It's definitely going to change the way YouTube mothers are judged. It's going to change um, the way things are. As a matter of fact, my Jazzy Lab claims that her, although today is a holiday, that the young lady who has been handling her CPS case emailed her asking her additional questions. It could be because of this, or maybe she did just innocently have additional questions, but definitely I think this is going to change a lot of things. So, guys, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about um, the fact that she was found out. I mean, would you have done the same thing, looked at her and been completely shocked? Really, you can't really put anything past anybody, but I definitely do want to know what you guys think. Um, be sure to hit in the comments so we can get the conversation popping, honey. Uh, be sure to like this video. If you're new here, subscribe. And guys, I will definitely see you in the next one. Uh, but we definitely need to talk about this one.